championship. What's up, fight fans, and welcome to the Premier MMA Championship Insider. I'm your host. They call me Turtle. And, uh, man, it, it feels really good uh, to be back uh, to doing this. Uh, not only am I back to doing this, but Premier MMA Championship is back as well. Uh, Saturday, November 20th, live from the Hit Sports Complex in Covington, Kentucky. Uh, Premier MMA Championship 17. Tickets are available now at PremierMMA.com. And if uh, you can't make it into town for the show, uh, you can watch it live on pay-per-view at CombatSportsNow.com. Uh, we've been putting together an exciting fight card uh, for November 20th. Uh, some big, uh, highly anticipated amateur debuts. Uh, we got some pro fights on the card that I'm going to be talking about in the weeks uh, to follow. But uh, the big news is there are not one, but two big Premier MMA Championship bouts on the card that night. Um, we're going to have a, the welterweight championship is going to be on the line as number one contender uh, Nick Wells is going to be facing uh, undefeated uh, Tom Kaiser uh, in a fight. I'm super excited uh, about that fight. It's going to be a banger. But the other, uh, the other title fight uh, that's going to be on the line that night is going to be a number one contender, big heavy handed uh, Dylan Rank is going to be uh, facing a guy who has had one hell of a year, uh, Dylan Budka, for the Premier MMA Championship heavyweight title. Um, it's going to be on the line. This is a fight that everybody is going to be talking about. And today on the Premier MMA Insider, uh, I have the pleasure uh, to speak with Dylan Budka. Um, we're going to be talking about the fight, of course, and uh, as well as uh, one hell of a year he's had. This guy is uh, six and two going into this fight on November 20th. And every one of those fights have been in 2021. That's right. This dude fought eight times in 2021. And he's going to cap off the year by fighting for the premier MMA uh, heavyweight championship on Saturday, November 20th. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, if you don't mind, uh, I, I'm, I'm kind of rusty uh, with this, so so give me a second here. <laughs> As I uh, add Dylan to the stream here. What's up, Dylan? How you doing, buddy? What's up, brother? How you doing, bro? I'm doing good. How about you? I'm good. Uh, I have our names uh, on the screen twice. I can't really figure out how to make that go away, but we're just going to rock with it, okay? Um, <laughs> so, uh, Saturday, November 20th, you're stepping back in the cage for your ninth time in 2021. I talked to you uh, earlier in the uh, in the year uh, when you fought for us earlier in the year. Uh, I, I spoke to you then, and you were telling me all of these things, man, you, you were hyping yourself and you, you, you know, and I got to tell you in the back of my mind, because you were, you were um, making your debut or, or uh, just made your debut. And I was like, well, we'll see, dude. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> but, but uh, you, the, the proof is in the pudding, man. Not only have you fought eight times this year, but there's no padding your record. You, you have fought nothing but killers, nothing but the top guys. Uh, in retrospect, uh, tell me a little bit about your thoughts on uh, on what this year has been like for you. Um, it's been it's been fun, man. It's been real fun. Uh, when I first went it, when I first told my coach I want to take this on, I said in the last interview, I was I want to go against the top people. I want to go against the best people. I want to go. I said in the last interview, I want to go against the best grapplers, the best strikers, and I've been doing that. I went against nobody that hasn't been in the top five ranked in the Southeast or the Northeast. And I just want to keep doing that. And I'm happy to end this last fight against somebody as talented as Dylan Ring. I think we're going to yeah. put on a good show. Yeah, I'm, a, I'm excited for it, man. Uh, I'm, I'm super excited for it. Both of you guys uh, definitely deserve the shot. He's five and two, you're six and two. Both of you have been very active in uh, 2021. I mean, he, he's fought three times this year, which is a lot for an amateur, but you make that, you know, you make that look like uh, it's, it's nothing. Um, you know, the thing that really astounds me is not only that you've been successful in fighting that many times, but you've managed 
to uh, fight that many times with no injuries uh, uh, yeah. that I know of, you know, which is really saying something, you know, because you can win a fight and still, you know, mess something up and and maybe sign sideline you for a little bit. Also, you uh, you know, you you've fought eight times. You've been successful. You've had a fantastic year. I notice a lot of people are taking notice of you now. You could easily sit back and take the rest of your off, enjoy the holidays, take a victory lap. What's the motivation here for, I mean, I know fighting for the premier MMA heavyweight title is a big deal, but, um, but j just give me some thoughts on, uh, what was your decision in taking this fight? Um, there's a lot of, uh, promotions that want me to fight for a pro, the pro level. And I wanted this last amateur fight to be where it started where the where it all started at and I think this would be good enough to end on starting at premiere because you guys are the first ones to take me on. So I'm really excited to step up to the next level and put my talents to the pro level and see what I can do there. Cause I think it's gonna be I think this year was good, but I'm gonna take the cake for next year too. I like that man. Uh, I like that a lot. We and uh and we appreciate it too. Um I, I gotta tell you though, um Given that you've had s such a successful year and you've decided to, to take this fight yet. So it sounds like you plan on going pro very soon. Yes, sir. So is it safe to say that you plan on this being your last amateur bout? Yeah, this will be my last amateur bout. Yeah, that's cool. Um, <laughs> so, but you, you got a big ass dude, man, in your way. Like, uh, you know, you, you fought some tough guys and, and you have to be very confident going in this fight because uh, Rink is not only is he no slouch and, and, and he's got heavy hands, but um, he's a big dude. And you fought at 185, you fought at 205, you fought at heavyweight. I don't even know how you pull that shit off. But you, <laughs> you, you, go, back, you go back and forth. So not only are you taking this last fight of the year uh, before pro, but you're doing it at heavyweight uh, against a big guy. So um, give me your thoughts on this matchup uh, with with uh, Rink. And uh, what do you got to say about that? Um, there's a lot of talent in all the weight classes that I fought against, but I said it before I say it again, that there's no one working as hard as me. There's no one putting in the time that I'm putting in and, uh, I'm just on a different level than these guys. That's why I'm moving at such a fast pace that I am. There's not many people that can move as fast as I am in this sport and stay healthy. And I'm just doing it. I've been doing everything like a pro since day one because I took it on 100%. I recover like a pro. I train like a pro. I eat like a pro. I sleep like a pro. And I'm, if you ain't a pro yet, you ain't on my level. And half the pros ain't on my level right now. So Rink's really talented and he does have heavy hands, but it, there's just something you can't prepare for someone like me. And uh, and you've also been uh, you're a collegiate wrestler. Uh, you, you were boxing. Uh, you know you've been doing uh, a lot of amateur boxing. I noticed uh, on social media you you said this was going to be your last amateur uh, boxing mount. That that was a couple of weeks back. Um, going into being a pro MMA fighter is is boxing also on your horizon. Do you plan on taking some professional boxing bouts? Or are, are you going to strictly focus on mixed martial arts from this point? I mean, if the right guy wants to give me the right amount of money for a boxing fight, I'll take it because that boxing money is nice too. But, <laughs> 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 but I'm looking to take – I want to my I want to be on a contender series. I want to be on the top shows by next year around this time. Um, so I, I want to be taking this MMA 100%. But if boxing comes on, I can take that too. You uh you train out of uh, demolition uh, MMA, um, it, you know uh, on Saturday November twentieth a lot of uh, talented gyms are are going to be uh, competing there. Uh, uh, Vision Drive, uh, uh, Pal MMA, which is a new gym uh, out of Cincinnati, and uh, of course demolition. You guys always uh, bring a lot of guys down. You have a lot of teammates um, that are also fighting on the card. Um, uh, Matia and uh, and Todd Box. Um, have you guys uh, been training together? Has, has it been a, a team thing going in, or are you guys kind of all on your own schedules? Oh, yeah. We all, we all push each other. Uh, I'm at every practice, so I see a lot of these guys every day. Uh, Jaden Talker, uh, 
he's the one pro one of the pro fights that's gonna be a great fight that night too. Uh, AJ, all them guys. Uh, we got a few debut guys coming. Jose Otero. He's the we all we all the toughest guys. I know we're the toughest guys. We always take the fights that nobody wants to take. So training with these guys every day, I can just it's fun watching all them guys work around me too. They all keep me motivated just as much as my head coach does. Yeah, and, you know, I, I'd venture to say, you know, getting ready for this uh, big heavyweight fight, you do got a couple of big guys in here. I mean, uh, Matia, <laughs> Matia is one of the biggest amateurs uh, i ever seen. He's like a super heavyweight, big super yeah. heavyweight uh, amateur yep. back coming up on November 20th. Um, you know, I don't know if he's been pushing you around the cage, but uh, that, that'll that definitely help uh, get you ready uh, for the oh, yeah. rank. Um. You got you've been traveling a lot too. In order for you to fight nine times, it, 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 you know I know uh, from trying to put your fight together is that locally it's it's hard to find guys that you have not already fought. Um, you know right. that, that that are ready to fight. So you've been uh, doing some traveling. I know you guys like went to Mississippi or, or Alabama. Um, so you kind of okay. know what it's like to be the hometown guy and you know what it's like to be that out of towner, uh, guy. Um, yeah. what, what, what has that experience been like for you? You know, traveling down South and taking fights against guys in their own backyard. Oh, uh, it's exciting. It's, it's a different feeling for sure. Uh, going to Alabama, I went against Bull Sparks and, uh, he sold a lot of tickets that night and I kind of felt bad after I beat him because I was like, damn, man, that kind of sucks. But. It, yeah, that was, that was that was the first time I was like actually booed at a fight and like people didn't like me there. <laughs> yeah. They didn't they didn't like me at all there when I came in there. But uh, I kept a professional and I got the job done and we got out of there. It was a long trip that night, though. It was like nine and a half hours. It was fun. Yeah. Well, yeah, you don't have so far uh, to drive uh, for this one. You know, you're coming down here yeah. uh, to the Cincinnati area and uh, you're kind of uh, facing uh, Dylan. So it's kind of his uh, his backyard. Both of you guys are, are, are coming into town uh, for this fight. I'm super um, excited about it. Uh, you've won um, some titles across uh, the Midwest, but a as you say, this is where it all started. And, uh, you know, I got to tell you, I'm, this isn't a knock on, on any other promotion or anything, because to be honest with you, I don't really pay attention to how they match up their fights and everything. But I know with us, um, you know, when we put together a title fight, it's not to sell tickets. That fight has to make sense. Both guys have to deserve it. And, uh, and you know, we we want it to be an accomplishment um, for the right. person who, who wins it. You, you're going to have to fight a tough guy uh, to win that title. That's what you have uh, facing you on November 20th uh, with uh, Rink. Um, I'm sure that Rink is going to be watching this uh, video today. Or at some point. So, uh, do you have any any words uh, for Dylan Rank uh, going into this fight? Um, I wish him the best of luck, and I can't wait to get in there with him. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> oh well, that I'm, really that just... I'm really excited. I'm really excited. Well, you're being so nice. You're being so nice, Dylan. <laughs> you've, you've matured a lot since uh, since our first uh, interview, man. You know, the first time I interviewed you, you had the hat and the mirrored sunglasses <laughs> and, uh, and you were really uh, promoting yourself. You seem uh, uh, a little more humble now. Um, like you seem like you're looking at this uh, uh, differently. You plan on making a career out of this. Is that right? Yeah. I, yeah. I want I want every every minute of my life has been surrounded around this sport for the past year. And I just want to keep surrounded. It's, it's literally what brings me peace. It's it's all I love to do. It's like I wake up, and it's the first thing I think about. I go to sleep, it's the last thing I'm thinking about. I go eat dinner, it's what I'm thinking about. I hang out with people, it's what I'm thinking about. Uh, and it shows every time I get in that cage, every time I step in the next fight, I get better. Every fight I get better, I level up. What, what kind of things do you like to do uh, outside of, uh, of training in your, in your personal life? Uh, what are the things that, uh, that Dylan Rank uh, likes to do? Or that Dylan Budka likes to do. You see, I got two Dylans in this fight. That's also messed up. <laughs> I'm a, I'm a, doing commentary that night's going to be a mess. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, uh, I, I like, 
I don't know, man. I train a lot. <laughs> uh, Not much time. I like for eating. Anything else. Uh, I like I like eating. Di I like kind of like traveling around, di eating different types of foods because I'm thinking about this cut to 85 when I turn pro. So I've been eating a little bit more food than I usually do. <laughs> right. This is the last uh, this is the last fight camp. I'll be able to eat whatever I want. So. Yeah, it'd be nice I mean, to not have a weight cut uh, for this fight too, right? Yeah. I mean, you're you're a big dude yourself, you know? So I, I can imagine sometimes those weight cuts uh, can be yeah. bothersome. Have you given any thought to the weight that you want to kind of dedicate yourself to as a professional fighter? Or is that something you're still kind of, uh, you know, trying to figure out? Um, I really want to fight Overstreet again. So... If he wants to meet me at 205, I'll meet him at 205. 185, I'll meet him at 185. But the main weight that we want to fight at when I turn pro is 185. But if it's over really? street, I go up to – Yeah, but if it's over street, we want to go up to 205 for him too if he, can, if he don't want to make me at 85. So I, I can see where that over street fight is uh, probably a sore spot on you. You're, you're six and two for the year. Uh, for, for those that don't know um, – you fought Overstreet on a Premier MMA card. Um, I, I called that fight. Um, it, it, it was a close fight, but in all honesty, no bullshit. I'm not just saying this uh, because I'm interviewing you right now. But uh, even even that night, the, the I was doing the uh, the commentary that night with Jerry Clore, who's a Brazilian jiu-jitsu black belt who um, uh, knew Overstreet. Uh, they, apparently, they were like some kind of friends or something like that. Um, I didn't know that uh, at the time, and uh, and I I had you up on this on the scorecard. I, I thought you won the fight. Um, I know you were disappointed that night, um, but you handled it very well. Uh, you know, very very professionally. You did. You know, a lot of guys when they lose a close decision like that, sometimes there can be sour grapes. It's hard for them to swallow. But you handled it yeah. very well. But it sounds like that's been something that's been nagging at you ever since the fight. So uh, you like you like to face uh, you like to face Overstreet again in the future. Yeah, as a pro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I definitely well, maybe, would like if if, if he would like to be my pro debut. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I would definitely come back and do that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Maybe, maybe maybe that's something uh, for us to look into, into making that happen uh, in the future. Yeah. Um, Real quick, uh, this is kind of a, a, a cheesy uh, question, but, um, you know, someday uh, maybe you'll be uh, competing in the UFC or something like that, saying, uh, and maybe we will uh, look back at, at this interview and it'll be kind of a cool thing for me. So I, I want to ask you, I know you have a wrestling background, and so sometimes that in this day and age that has become a, kind of a natural progression to go from collegiate wrestling in, into MMA or combat sports. But what, who has been your inspiration? Who are your favorite fighters uh, to watch, or you know that maybe you uh, that you know have inspired you? Um, some of the main fighters that I study is uh, GSP. I like watching GSP a lot. I like watching Usman and I like watching Khabib because uh, Khabib, he's just angry. He just, he just wants to finish everybody. Uh, GSP, he was, at, he was athletic. Um, and Usman, he's just a wrestler that wants to kill people too. So I've really... No, all I, three I post, of those dudes, wrestlers. Yeah, they just... Uh, yeah, yeah, they just... And, I've, and they're, they're athletic. They, uh, they And they both really let them hands go too. So when I realized... After some of my fights, when I changed my mentality from how I was going to win to how I was going to finish people, my fight IQ and everything just changed. And I want to finish this guy this way. I want to just win. I want to finish this guy like this. And that's how I started leveling up quicker. And I felt my my fighting and everything just get to a different level that wasn't on other people's. Because I feel like a lot of people get in there. And that's how it was when I first started. It's how am I going to win? What am I going to do just to get to the end and get my hand raised? But now I'm like, in my last, since I've done that, I've had four finishes. So it's just how I want to finish this guy. How do I want to finish this guy? And it's been working out. And that's how I feel like Usman and Khabib, they all fight. Like they pick how they want to beat that dude and they do it. Yeah. I, I always tell uh, amateurs 
you know, when you're competing as an amateur, the most important thing is that it's a learning experience that you take, yeah. uh, that you, you learn uh, from the wins. You, you, you never lose. You you either win or you learn something. Um, and uh, for a lot of guys, you know, that's that can be, you know, I, I know guys that have been amateurs for a long, long time. Um, you, uh, you know, as, as we've said, you're burning through it uh, this year. So, you know, it, it kind of makes me uh, wonder, are, are, are you able, um, are, are, are you learning a lot in 2021? Oh, I've learned so much. Since I've, that first fight. Yeah, I've learned so much stuff from that, from, even though I'm moving so quick, I'm learning something every time I fight, even with my boxing fights, I'm learning how to control my emotions, how to control my nerves, how to control what I do in the fight, how to see things. And I'm trying with so many people in different types of looks that it teaches me what to do in certain positions. Um, I'm starting to travel around and train with different people that specific people that help me with different areas too. So all that's just teaching me what I need to do really when I get out in the cage and it's starting to be less stressful and more fun. Yeah, that's awesome, man. Uh, that's yeah. awesome. And, you know, with you coming from a wrestling background, uh, taking those those boxing fights, I guess, w- would really be a real learning experience from you because it's taking you out of your element or out of, you know, what you have a background in, totally taking that out of the equation and uh, and forcing you to to learn how to your footwork and, and, and moving your hands and stuff um, so that that can become more of a benefit to you in your MMA game, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It gets me comfortable being uncomfortable. Yeah, right, right. Um, <laughs> man, uh, legitimately, uh, I am super excited uh, uh, for this fight card in November 20th. You know, it's been a, a shit year for us, um, you know, dealing with COVID and, and uh, the time off. So it's super exciting for Premier MMA uh, to be back. Uh, this is going to be a huge uh, show. Uh, on November twentieth, and uh, and so this uh, this fight is appropriate uh, to be on this card. It's it's worthy of it, man. I, I'm excited to see you two uh, get in there and bang. Um, real quick, how do you see it going down? Oh, your mic. Something's up with your mic, dude. Uh, I've lost sound here. Now you're muted. You're muted. <laughs> okay. Your mic is muted, Dylan. Hello? All right. Now I can hear you. I don't know what was going on there. You there? I can't hear you. Are you still with us, Dylan? Hello? All right. There we go. All right. <laughs> I don't know what I was happened. I freaking out there for a minute. Technical difficulties. But real quick, how do you see the fight going down on November 20th? Uh, I don't think it's going to see more than two rounds, honestly. Um, so I think I'll finish Dylan Rink in the first or second round. And I'm pretty confident with that. There you have it, folks. And uh, real quick, before we let you go, Dylan, I'm sure you have a lot of people that have helped you get ready for this fight. I know you have a lot of fan support um, on, on social media and at the shows and, and people buying the pay-per-views. Um, get, uh, this is your time, man, to just uh, say what you want to say to uh, to the people out there that helped you. Uh, I want to thank Premier. I want to thank Turbo for having me on the show and having me back at Premier again for another fight and for the last Emmy one. Um, I want to thank Gary Young for opening up all these doors for me and doing really hard work to find these matchups because it's everybody's scared to fight me. So, and um, I want to thank everybody that all the sponsors I have and all the supporters that come out and watch me fight all the time. I appreciate y'all and keep it mindless. Keep it mindless. The mindless Hulk. Uh, I went this whole interview and I, I never said uh, the mindless Hulk uh, one time. So <laughs> Dylan, Dylan Budka, the mindless Hulk, uh, you can see him uh, live on Saturday, uh, November 20th, 
premier MMA championship 17 uh, for the heavyweight title against Dylan Rank. Man, uh, thank you so much uh, uh, for taking time to come on here uh, with me today, especially on a Sunday with Halloween and football and and uh, all of that shit and your busy uh, training regimen. I really appreciate you taking the thank time. Thank you for having me, here. All right, and uh, I will see you on Saturday, November 20th, my man. See you then, bro. Thank you, guys. Dylan Budka, guys, and, uh, you know, like I said, I, I'm legitimately excited for this fight. Uh, I do have plans to uh, have Dylan Rank uh, here on the program as well to get his his thoughts on the fight as well as uh, we'll have Wells and Kaiser on to talk about their welterweight bout. Um, real quick, guys, if you don't know, um, tickets for Premier MMA Championship 17 are on sale now at PremierMMA.com. Uh, uh, they, they are going fast. Uh, they, they've been on sale uh, for a minute. Don't waste time, especially if you're one of those uh, people that want to get uh, uh, some really good seats. I, I don't even know uh, what's left because uh, Billy Donovan uh, takes care of all that stuff. But I do know the tickets are going fast uh, for the show. Um, so get your tickets now. If you're out of town, can't make it in uh, for the show, the show will be live uh, on Combat Sports Now. Uh, on pay-per-view, all of the fights, uh, you can join me uh, and the broadcast team uh, there on uh, Saturday, November 20th uh, for the show. Uh, I look forward to uh, to uh, calling uh, the event as well. Um, thanks so much for watching, guys. Um, follow me on uh, on Facebook and uh, Instagram, uh, Rob Turtle Whitson. And uh, for uh, more information as we go forward and uh, release these, uh, follow Premier MMA Championship uh, on Facebook. Uh, we'll be sharing uh, a lot of these videos there. You can also uh, subscribe uh, to our YouTube page and uh, and ring the little thing to get notifications so you can see all the future episodes of uh, Premier MMA Insider. Um, that's it for me, guys. Thanks so much uh, for joining us, and uh, I'll see you next time.